Saba? Yeah. <laughs> Remember that time you went up on stage and did stand up? Yeah, for many years. How was that? <laughs> Sorry, me already offended before the conversation started. Again. So, no, no, we can keep going. Um, so, yeah, I started doing stand-up comedy in 2018. Actually, fun facts, the way I got the radio was because you sent, like, undercover agents to my Lahore show. Yep. Um, I did stand-up comedy with Orth Nock, which is, like, a feminist comedy <clears throat> collective thing in Karachi, Lahore, Islamabad. Which I'm sure we're going to discuss in detail yeah, later. Yeah, yeah. We'll get into that. Um, and then at my, we had a show in Lahore, which sold out. And may I say, I killed it. And then two of our friends, who you had sent as undercover agents, essentially, came up to me after the show, and they were like, listen... <laughs> You need to do radio. You need to do radio. <laughs> like, they yeah, want you. I imagine yeah. that that's the first thing that comes to your mind when you see a comedian up on stage. You're like, you need to do radio. Yeah. They were no. Like, Put that face away. Says <laughs> no one ever. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, that face? Put that away. <laughs> that voice, though. Let's bring that on again. Should we talk about it? I think we should talk about yeah, it. Let's talk about this. Funny women. Should we say with special guest? No. Now okay. we do the special guest. With special guest. <laughs> <laughs> Abdul, 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 Abdul Oh my god, thank you, thank you guys, thank you. It was really hard for me to just sit quietly and be like, wait for your introduction, wait for your introduction, don't talk till they introduce you. But yeah, thank you for having me, guys. I'm really excited to be here. And like you've done so much, I mean, from comedy to content creation to acting, acting to directing, oh my god, producing. Yeah, acting. Yeah, so that's yeah. that's like a lot of things on your on your CV. Oh, and improv. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And improv. improv as well. Yes. So I mean, I assume people know you. Do people know you? That's a very vague question. <laughs> it you is. know, I like to but exactly. But I feel like yeah, I have like the small niche community that I feel like yeah, they know me now. Uh, especially in I think Karachi, Lahore. I think maybe a bit in Islamabad. But you know what? I don't look Hunza. at it like that. that Gilgit. Yeah, actually, there. <laughs> no, also. for reals, because yeah. she's she goes. Like Jacob yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, you know, oh, Multan, Bhawalpur. Uh, <laughs> she's big in Punjab. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> big. But yeah, because of my travels and everything, we do get a lot of like you know comments and uh, DMs from different audiences from all over Pakistan. But I never looked at it from like that lens. You know, yeah. how many people know me in what city, where, which country? I just feel like as long as my messages are going through people, people are watching, enjoying it, appreciating it. I never looked at the numbers, you know, never. And I still don't. I think that that's like the least concern for me, yeah. you know? Yeah. I feel like as long as you're doing what you love, you're enjoying it, it's reaching people. It doesn't matter how many people, as long as it's making an impact, uh, that's good enough. You yeah, know? absolutely. A long time ago, I want to talk maybe three, four years ago, whenever Instagram introduced hide like count, I have consistently hidden my like counts because I'm like, I don't want to know. And I also don't know how many followers I have. Yeah. I've like trained my eye to like not, because yeah. it'll make you crazy. It, it does. Really you know, I have done that too. So yeah. I do that on my stories because I feel like on stories, you're being so raw and uh, candid that sometimes you feel like, oh my God, I don't even want to see who all is watching my story. So literally I've trained my eye to not even look in that corner, you know, where you yeah, see yeah. the circles of people and the number of the people who viewed your story. I don't look there because I, I don't want to see who all is watching watching me how many people are watching me just don't look there and yeah. even when i post my reels or something i never check my likes that who all is liked it it intimidates me even more when you see the names of people i'm like it's okay just just keep putting your work out there don't think who's watching how many people are watching I just mean, keep doing the good work i'd like to say that i have the same problem <laughs> Sorry, I'm crying. I don't. Yeah. I don't. Uh, yeah, you laugh really loudly yeah. at that one. Like, oh, um, uh, must be nice living a private life. I love living yeah. my private yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, a lot so of you people. You have a private account. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a public person, by the oh. way. I got dragged into this by my producer <laughs> and Saba. Uh, so I, I said, like. Come on. Poor Ilan, I, you know? I've always. <laughs> I've poor always Ilan. been. I, the, I just got dragged into yeah. it. You know? I, yeah. I have always been the behind the scenes person, never yeah. in the front. No, which it's is great that you're, you know, trying something new. Yeah, like, yeah I actually am trying yeah. something new. And I think you're killing at it. I've seen your um, <laughs> first episode. Can't say for the second one, but first one, when I, I saw the whole thing and I enjoyed you it. Know what? Really. Thank you so much. Really? Because a lot of people have even, not watched the first one either. No, and even the chemistry, like, good, yeah. good job. Yeah. Guys. I think it's interesting you don't look at who looks at your stories mm. and stuff. So, 
I actually posted about this, I think like a day ago, where I was like blasting Instagram because I was like, my views dropped. Like I posted, I don't keep it 100, like a thirst trap on Mother's Day just because I thought it was funny. Okay, yeah. I wore a hat that said mommy. Yeah, and like, for, pe for women on the alert. internet, yeah. yeah, you get it. People Say love thank calling you, you mommy. mommy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then the next day, I, it's not funny, I posted a GoFundMe and I got like, no. why am I laughing? But I got like no views. And so I blasted Instagram. Oh no, GoFundMe was, like, was an actual GoFundMe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, and I was okay. like, I what the you were like, <laughs> fund me. No. I'm like, okay, the joke is going too far yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anybody's going to fund me. You get on your burner account and you're like, If you want me to keep looking hot, fund me. So I can go buy my makeup and look hot, you know. Girl, that is my dream life. If anyone's listening, that's a sort of that's a sort of funding. I want to see this hotness. <laughs> but I do think it's funny. This is completely not even on topic of what our show is today. But like, yeah. when my friends tell me like, "Oh, so and so didn't look at my story," and I'm like, "You go and check exactly. that." I was like, "Why are you watching? Who's yeah, watching that's you?" That's crazy. Yeah, and you know, some people actually put stories. To, to make sure that person sees it. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> what is this targeted story putting? Like, I, I never think, I want to put this so this person can see yeah. this. Like, but people plan their stories. They're yeah. like targeted towards certain people. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to call out one of our friends, not by name, who does do stuff yeah, like I that. I have friends who do that. We yeah. all have friends yeah. who do and that. And just like, did it work? There's For different yeah, reasons. Quote, yeah. Real friendships are the ones which are not tough. Yeah, they should be easy, and they are targeting Your that good times, one yeah. friend who is, you know, like a burden on you. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're like, yeah, friendship should be easy, you know. Take a hint. It's the friends and the bad times that you know really stand exactly. for you. And I'm just like, I exactly. guess I'm not one of them. I haven't talked to you in like 20 days. Uh, yo, is this? Sometimes I literally love saying, "Hey, is this about me?" I know. I, it's so like, fun. Oh, then I start. Laughing. I think they're like, you know, talking about me. Oh, yeah. oh my god! But yeah, it's it's hilarious. It's This, uh, I must say, I haven't laughed this much in a while. So thank you guys. <laughs> but like, one, one of the reasons, no, I haven't, I actually haven't. This is, I think she this means, is yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. She means, you know, you have to like, I think now you have to like read alarm. Does she mean this or does she like just <laughs> I like to be sarcastic. mysterious you about know, it. Because she's it's such a straight face, you know. That's true. I've never laughed this much in a while. <laughs> You're like, she's like okay. get new careers <laughs> losers me and you sweating for future. the reason <laughs> i said this is because this episode is about funny women yeah and i have two of the funniest women sitting next to me and third one in the making i'm yeah. in the I'm making sure in the making yeah. Saba, you so, will, uh, you so know, the thing is like i have <laughs> i love this episode can i just <laughs> it's all about Saba. uh there's different kinds of humor right my my kind of humor is not for everyone mm. my kind of humor is the it ranges between sarcasm and also am i offending someone i can no, tell. Do dry yeah. commentary sarcasm. i feel like kind of yeah. similar to british humor yes mm. yeah like and she'll dry, get these witty, zings in i love british sarcasm. humor yeah. mm. i Same. that's I'm where i get all my inspiration yeah. from for my everyday life yeah. so yeah so what kind of comedy are you into yeah so i was gonna reply to that also like my humor is very i think character based that's what i enjoy the most you know like i love embodying different characters talking like them or enacting them or like doing different voices yeah. accents and i think situation based comedy is what i really enjoy and like like whatever situation is there you make comedy out of it you cool. know you get content from that so I think that's, that's what awesome. I And enjoy. like growing up, did you, was it always something that you did where you just imitated people? Because a lot of comedians, that's how they start, right? Like yeah. uh, they start, they're very good at mimicking and they're very good at, and then of course there's the families that will make you stand in the middle of the room and on Eid and be like, beta, <laughs> nacho. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. So I've always, I think my roots start from theater. So I've always been into acting and I used to do like live theater shows. Yeah. Um, I was always funny as a person in my friends, family, you know, always doing skits. Yeah. Like, you know, just make you stand in the middle of someone's birthday. So I'm still put up a skit yeah. and I'm putting skits on a cousin's birthday. Like they've hired a magician. <laughs> they, they are people, they are proper activities, but I am doing a skit on stage. Like why? You're like, the actual magic. No, I'm directing my cousin. I'm like, you do this, you be the mom, got my chachu involved and we're putting a skit. Also unpaid. Like, why? Yeah. All unpaid <laughs> magicians being paid but amtul isn't exactly yeah. magician is there you know they're like proper you know the the birthday games yeah. but i am putting a sketch yeah I, I used to love being the center of attention being on stage everybody watching me i think i've always thrived on that yeah um but doing actual comedy on stage as professionally i think that came to me much later 
and i think funnily enough it was a very tough journey for me as well um so i started comedy from improv first stand up came way later and i did very little stand up i'm still not very 100% confident on that and that's something that i also want to work on so as you said this year is your goal to do more stand up even my goal is this year to do you more stand up you i feel we our mutual friend is starting their open yeah, mic here exactly. in the city, like yeah, in yeah, our he, part of the city yeah he so keeps so telling me we're giving our him, address i'm like we're me and uncle live no um but yeah so yeah. i've even told him like i'll yeah. do the first five shows yeah. just to get back yeah, into it exactly yeah. same even i want to get more into it so i started with improv and so i started improv when i was in lums when i was in university mm-hmm. and we had a small improv group and there were like four five guys and i was the only girl so i think with that already with that setting i just felt fish out of water you know because they were all guys and i was the only female so i feel like my perspective wasn't coming through yeah. the comedy was very like male oriented comedy and they used to do a lot of like you know dirty comedy and everything and i wasn't very comfortable with it back then of course i was like 18 19 I was like, oh, oh, shadow Mari, oh my God, oh my God, what are you guys saying? Literally, I would get so awkward and so shy, and I used to judge myself way more because I feel like when when you're an actor, you're given a script, you're yeah. given lines, and you're like, yeah, I'm just saying these dialogues which are given to me, you know. But when you do improv, everything is coming from you. Mm-hmm. It's your dialogues, your character. Everybody can see. through your brain like that's what i used to i used to feel like naked you know that yeah. everybody can see through me whatever line i say they'll be like oh so that's what she came up with you know oh it could have been better or you know so it's I your to, instinctual response yeah, right? yeah so i used to feel so judged ke oh my god what if it's not funny enough whatever i say it's not smart enough so it was a big struggle so that was my whole um lumps there and then i was like okay you know what maybe comedy is not for me so i can left I it can i ask a question sorry but how long did you stay in the improv group throughout lumps mm, i think it was like From 2011 to 2014, yeah, so like three years three on years. and off. Okay, yeah. Nice. yeah, it's a long and time. Yeah, yeah, but like yeah. I wasn't very, very regular because, as I said, that I used to like really, you know, judge myself and feel really like insecure. So I was in it on and off, but I did it throughout these three years. Yeah. Uh, uske baad, then when we graduated, I came back to Karachi. Then there was another improv uh, troupe being formed in 2014 or 15. So then again, I, you know, I joined it. I was like, okay, you know what? give yourself another try you know let's do it again so i joined the troop and it was like around 15 16 people it was a big troop we got proper training and everything i got a little better but even then i felt like i didn't truly flourish you mm-hmm. know and i remember a few of my friends came to my uh, improv show and they told me they were like i'm told leave improv it's mm. not your it's not your scene cuz i was like okay honestly tell me like how was i you know because and they knew you as a funny person in real life exactly. right exactly yeah. and they knew me as an actor as well so my friend goes like you know do acting you're brilliant at it you yeah. do amazing short films you've been doing theater and all of that keep that but you know what comedy improv uh, not, not your you. scene and i was yeah. like oh my god really okay you know and then i think i just what i'm glad about is is that i kept giving myself another chance and i'm here today i feel like if i had left it and let my you know subconscious take over that okay no i'm not good enough or like all of my friends what they were telling me well of course they were giving me genuine advice yeah. i guess but i'm glad that i did not listen to that you know and i was like no i'll keep i'll keep trying So I've done improv workshops as part of my stand up thing. It was like we probably learned from with very similar people. I hated it because like <laughs> yeah. my whole style of comedy, right? Like I, the reason I got into comedy is storytelling. Like mm. I love telling a story. I like to keep you on your toes. And with improv it's like I think you have to embrace this kind of cringe. You have to embrace yes. looking dumb. You have to embrace looking ugly. And the thing is the people that do that have the best I careers agree. then going forward right cuz that break point is when you're like oh yeah this F is it. Like, yeah this is why i'm this exactly. and you i totally agree you have to take it as it is yeah. you're thrown in a situation in a scene you just have to accept it fully and i feel like when that acceptance comes in okay yeah i'll i'll play whatever i need to play if i need to play a milkman i'm going to play a milkman if yeah. i need to become a goat in the scene i will become the best goat possible that this audience has seen yeah. if i need to become sharukh khan i will be the best version of sharukh khan i can become it might not be accurate but it will be the best version coming for me that's what makes it funny a lot know? of people i feel like uh that throwing away all your inhibitions yeah. and just kind of giving yourself to what to that moment and to whatever you're improvising or whatever situation you've been given i don't think pakistanis are very good at that 
no yeah. we're so much in our heads like if you compare Log like yeah, yeah. That, that plus just this innate thing that we're kind of like born with this random thought in our head that like no i'm going to hold back a little to yeah. everything that i do yeah. also the reason i mentioned that whole thing because you said your friends had been like ah oh, it's not really working for you is mm. i'm like dog unless you have done improv and comedy honestly you don't know I like agree. you really don't you cannot tell someone like give up because yeah. it is a very different experience and i'm as i'm sure you're about to say me speaking for you that like as your confidence grows and like oh i don't really care what exactly. people think of me oh my god the the power that unleashes so okay now your friends have told you this where yeah. are we now they, yeah exactly they told me way back i think that was like 20 15 16 whatever friends. and then, yeah, friends yeah friends <laughs> no, no i'm but, not even but, friends with yeah. that particular guy anymore who told me that i then. knew oh. it was a man yeah, yeah it was a man <laughs> and i'm not friends with him anymore and he used to like me back then okay anymore oh, even then he couldn't lie to my face you know he lied to me, he's like but leave it you know anyway C- come live at my house with me and my parents yeah, he, was, me, he was just scared <laughs> i think that's why he didn't want me to yeah. listen shaadi karni hai comedy chhadwa do no no bad scene he was just scared that you would make the material about him exactly which yeah. you should because Absolutely. that's where the best comedy comes from exactly. do you know how many people have said that to me they're like so are you going to are you going to tweet about this like you're going to put this on stage yeah, yeah, and yeah, i'm yeah. like Even yes <laughs> my friends are my content yeah. they know it now and yeah. i'm like whenever they say something on whatsapp i'm like it's, i'm starring it and it's going in my notes yeah. and they're like oh my god we are her content now and i'm like you guys say wonderful golden thing yeah. you're going to not put like, it sorry you're chari- funny <laughs> and then i you know literally make characters out of it and yeah. i love doing that yeah. but that's that's where it comes from right yeah. yeah so as you ask i think thank god i didn't take that into consideration and i kept pushing myself and then i joined another comedy troupe which was the khawatoon which i'm still a part of so it's been like 8 years to that uh, oh. improv troupe you and guys think, are awesome yeah yeah so awesome. i think like, awesome. awesome thank yeah. you thank you and i think that's where i really found myself you know because we were all women nobody was trying to you know overpower the other there was no like gender dynamics because mm-hmm. we were all women we were playing all kinds of roles we could be men and women objects animals whatever the <laughs> hell you wanted to be because i felt like then it wasn't like men taking the front stage or the center stage like those inhibitions were gone and i felt like that's where i truly uh Flourished. blossomed and like yeah i started loving improv a lot and i really i think got out of my shelter like and just started enjoying it and i think once you start enjoying it that's it there's no going back then nothing can stop you yeah. cuz you're just having fun and i think now what i do it when, when i go on stage i'm like okay i'm just going to have fun Mm-hmm. That's all I think about. I don't think about the before or after what's happening after the show, who's coming, who's not coming. No. My phone is off. I don't even take my phone on stage. It's kept in my bag somewhere. I don't even know where it is. People and, um, are 100% going to rob you. Yeah, you're exactly. Like, oh, I, I always come off stage and I'm like, "Where is my bag? Where is my phone?" <laughs> Literally in panic mode, you know, after you see the show me with her bag running up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But during Kidding. the show for that 1 hour, 1 and a half hour, I'm I'm like, "This is my stage. This is my world." Yeah. This is where I exist and I'm going to give my best and have the best time. I love and that. That's when the best comedy comes yeah. out. I watch a lot of there was a I went through a phase where I watched a lot of stand up. Yeah. I watched a lot I haven't improv is something that I haven't watched a lot of because mm. I mean for the bl- sake of like lack of not there for a very long time not being a lot of improv mm. while I was growing yeah. up. Mm. Now there is. Yeah. So now I go and try and see it as much as I can and I think it's freeing. It's like it's it honestly even as an audience member because i have nothing to do with comedy i've never been up there on stage mm-hmm. i've never had the confidence to do it but i've had so many people tell me you should try it yeah. because you know op- mostly it's me and another person like uh, uh, me and my friend and we're arguing about something and they're like you guys are so funny yeah. you guys should do comedy Honestly, together if you do did a stage. special she's talking about her uh, friend Sarah i <laughs> yeah. would watch it i will tell you uh-huh. improv um improv so i said improv when i did it hardest. i didn't like it but it freeze you because it again it's and i actually grew up watching whose line is it anyway same yeah so when exactly. i was yeah when yeah. i was younger i didn't yeah. know that this is improv i yeah. I, it's yeah. really, i i was like a, in college and i was like how are they doing this yeah, i'm like is, is it scripted yeah. Yeah, yeah i think yeah. for the longest time people thought it was scripted yes. yeah till people then have the correct knowledge about improv even i to a certain extent thought that It, sh- it must be scripted. Yeah. Because my god, they're so good. So good. So good. Colin so of whose line is anyway is yeah. like a comedy yeah. god. Yeah. Please I so ho- I hope that these are not yeah. people that should be on the block out <laughs> list. Please tell me you're not. Um uh, but hopefully yeah. If you look at our neighbors next door, 
they the, the the kind of comedy that they're doing the kind of like generally the kind of even the the acting that they're doing they completely give themselves to whatever situation they whatever to role they commit to it fully yeah. you know yeah. so it doesn't matter if they're looking like a fool doing whatever they're doing they still do it you yeah. have the exactly. top drama actors and actresses doing comedic roles and completely transforming themselves for uh, it you know, over here you don't see that with me also i also had this um feeling that you know oh m- like people always thought that men are funnier than women you know i always oh. felt that like now i don't anymore but i feel like from the journey that i mentioned from lums days till like maybe till like 2016 or something those 5 6 years i felt like did someone ever come up to you with lums while you were doing your shows with the men cuz you said you like five men and you uh did anyone ever make a comment ever Mm. Or was this just in your head? I think it was more in my head. I could just feel it. You know, I don't know if it was my in my head or not, but I just I could feel it. I was like, you know, like men think they're funnier and everybody mm. laughs more at their jokes and then I mean, you it's know, fart jokes. Yeah, um, or like all sexual jokes. Or all sexual jokes. Or like jokes, you know? they and and men also can do those jokes because if exactly. a guy is doing it, exactly. it's okay. If a girl does it, ha. Oh. Yeah. I agree. And I used to go through that. I'm like, if I say this, मैं कैसी लगूंगी यू नो वट विल पीपल थिंक ऑफ मी एंड दिस इन दैट ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर गोइंग टू माई माइंड एंड आई थिंक इवन इफ इट्स नॉट रियली हैपनिंग इट्स पार्ट ऑफ योर सोशल कंडीशनिंग राइट आई वॉज गन से दैट अट इज सोट अप दैट वे एक्जैक्टली सो इवन इफ नो बडी सेंग दैट इट्स नॉट एक्चुअली हैपनिंग बट यू बिन ब्रॉट अप दैट वे सो दीज थाट्स दे डू कम इन टू योर माइंड दैट यू नो वट इफ यू नो माई फैमिली सीज दिस शो Or what do my parents watch this or video one I day? I don't know the people sing. sitting in the audience because honestly, past a certain row, it's like you're not clocking who's there, and I'm like, who here is my blood relative <laughs> from some cha cha taya I forgot? That about could be your thing. You could start every show like that. Literally, I'm <laughs> like, is anyone blood related to me? But we, and, you know, I do the opposite. As I mentioned, that I don't look at who's viewing my story, even at the shows, at the live shows. I'm like, I don't want to know who's in the audience. Yeah. Just, just think of it's like a sea of people. A lot of people just don't see the faces. Who's there? Who's the lights not really there. help. Yeah. Yeah. So I just look blind you. in the distance yeah. at the darkness and don't care because I feel like I perform the best and I deliver the best whether it's online or live. when i don't know who's watching me. yeah because then i don't think of how i'm going to be perceived or i'm just who i am so i i that works for me that's a really know? good pro tip yeah. for yeah. like for yeah. any young person who's coming up in comedy who's constantly thinking about okay i can't do this joke i can't do that joke just don't think about it exactly. like completely Honestly, for me the crack like and i want to talk about online content because i did kind of derail you where you were coming like as we're going to move into that for me that was the crack the breaking point when i was like You know what? And when I say look ugly, I don't mean that in a fi- just a physical sense. Of I mean course. that truly like jo- whatever I want to say is going to come out of my mouth. I'm going to be raw about it and I'm going to have a good time. That was the breaking point for me where comedy, content creation and stuff started being fun. And yeah. even with brand deals started coming in more and they were like just be a silly guy yeah. because it's kind yeah. of funny and I get a lot of comments of people that are like, "Oh, you go make up free on the internet. You're so brave." I'm like, "First of all, rude." But I'm like, <laughs> "But I don't know for because they're like, "Oh, it's so funny when you do that." I'm like, "Very rude." Yeah, I'm not being funny <laughs> at, yeah, at like, all. Fully I'm just my rude. face, but thank you. <laughs> So my content journey was happening then because I started doing like twenty around twenty sixteen only I started doing like travel content, and I was like okay I'm doing like uh, travel videos why not try comedy as well mm-hmm. online because I was anyway doing like improv shows and everything and that's when the digital uh, comedy started for me as well and that was also a lot of fun and but. tough also because in the beginning i remember in 2016 there were very very few uh, comedy female content creators out there and especially like doing like characters dressing up like a dadi like this or that and you know giving myself different character names i remember i used to have one shabana character one dadi character one i love the dadi character yeah uh, one <laughs> kid most. character and then uh, oh and the comments i used to get i was just about cringe, to say cringe yeah. cringe 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 i was like oh my god if a guy does it it's super <laughs> funny yeah oh, yeah, yeah, oh my god no, no, Nothing, and nothing an audience loves more than a man with a towel on his head yeah, pretending yeah, it's a dubbed Yeah, they will love that. You know, yeah. but, but but when you do something, oh my god, cringe and overactor. This one comment I've all overacting kar rahi hai. Over and I'm like, so how do you expect me to do comedy with like a serious face? Ha. Huh? 
आज खाने में क्या है like you know like of course which by the way they'll be... still call you an over actor yeah. yeah. they're yeah. like you're over acting I... not acting yeah, yeah. Like, just... and i'm like it's comedy of course i'm going to be animated and i'm generally a very animated like you know um expression full of expression person so i'm like firstly that's who i am and secondly how how else do you expect me to do comedy like with a yeah. straight face like of course i'm going to be exaggerated mm. and you know i'm going to play characters you have to so, over dramatize them time when you started posting your own content and stuff because mm. I, i haven't cuz you do a lot more comedy online than me mine was mostly like ranting mm. and like still till this day i'll just be like so when men do this and the, all the women are like woo and all I the men are like no <laughs> lies overacting this happens this. on tiktok like, overacting overacting <laughs> and what I, word and now. you yeah no not all men. i'm like say it <laughs> i actually you know what go yeah, for yeah, it dekho main kya karti hu go for it um <laughs> But one thing I found which to me is the the basic problem here is that no even for women who are commenting mm. on you it's the fact that you're doing something with confidence. You yeah. kind of touched on this earlier where it's like Pakistani people kind of like have an issue yes. with non non conformity. Like yeah. if you don't mm. conform mm-hmm. to society so that is being a bit reserved. Yeah. That is n- women especially like <laughs> you better take that laugh and keep it behind the door. Like we yeah. don't need to hear that out loud. And um I think that confidence really bothers people I especially agree. when it's women daring to be any level of different different any exactly. level of not aesthetic pretty girl you know dupatta yeah. baliyan blah 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 and if you're anything else they're like how dare, dare you <laughs> literally yeah, I, i agree with that like with the men it's like how dare she and then i think with some women it's like if i couldn't do it how can she yeah, do it yeah stop it put that away it? yeah <laughs> if i wasn't allowed to and i was like you should be happy for her if i mean it should be the other way around yeah. it should be mm-hmm. oh my god if she's doing it i can, I can do also it do yeah. it yeah. like i want to do it because she's doing it Pakistanis don't understand comedy. Yeah. Like they don't they don't know funny. No. Like they don't understand from majority. <laughs> like whoever doesn't I laugh agree. at my jokes no, doesn't I know agree. comedy. No, okay. but like yeah. in all seriousness, like look at even the writing, even the I was going to come uh, back to in the day. I mean, I was when 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 we decided on this topic, the first thing I like did was a little bit of research to go back and see how much comedy do people talk about in Pakistan and like uh, and and abroad versus abroad right abroad it's just it's like there's articles and articles and interviews and festivals and they it's celebrate its own, like, it's genre its own, of entertainment exactly yes. like the in Pakistan writers, the performers the shows it's its whole other yeah. ecosystem that mm. exists within like the overall entertainment space yeah. um and actually i i mean i am in agreement now i when i go home and visit my parents and i'm not going to say the names of these shows but like we have very specific comedy shows and i'm just like it's not skin even skin color and fat fat shaming fat shaming yeah. skin color my wife like those that's it uh, on I a agree. loop on a loop on a loop i agree and the audience is cracking up and the lady with the best job in the world whose job also, is to just laugh is cracking up also they yeah. they started doing this thing where well one one person tried it out and now there's every other channel is trying to do it and then you you have like your sales guys like cuz i'm as a producer i'm constantly being told by like all these different people who are like look they did it so you should also try it mm-hmm. you also plug this in mm-hmm. and it's always there's three men sitting there in a panel yeah. and they crack a joke in whatever they 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 make a, like a crass joke or they like imitate some po- politician and then there's a lady sitting there laughing yeah. oh my god and that's She become like a job. Like, yeah that happened with me I, recently i mean fair mm-hmm. enough getting paid a lot of money just to sit there and laugh fair mm-hmm. enough but <clears throat> that's not you can't tag that as a comedic genre comedy. so you know um So I've been do like I've been doing acting but I'm very selective with my projects right I've been doing like web series short films digital content and then I was like okay you know what's next so I was like okay let's try TV okay and I got this offer and it was a comedy uh, sitcom I think it was like an ensemble cast like 10 characters and we typical jo unka hota hai structure like okay 10 people living in one house i don't know why everybody is living in one house but okay sure because the guy who's married uski behan bhi wahan rehti hai and then khala is also there and khala is it's cuz mtv did it and then everyone wanted yeah, to do it like, <laughs> make it make sense you know like the, the storyline was a guy gets married to a woman and she brings her niece along why why and i was that niece okay they offered me that character <laughs> So I was like, why? But okay, sure, let's consider it. Because I was like, okay, you know, like, let's try TV. Why not? 
um <clears throat> got the script and i was very excited i was okay comedy you know and they were like you know we've heard you're a comedian you're an improviser so you will be really good and we've seen your videos you've seen your work so you would be great at it so i was like, okay can i please have the script and as usual they were like oh script why why do you need the script for? and i'm like how can i sign the first league you know that's you amazing ask for a script yeah. is goes like you asking for something illegal yeah. <laughs> a contract or a script two things you can yeah. never ask for in fact it's another one if contract you ask them why ye aapko hame bharosa nahi hai hum pe are aap mere mamu lagte hai main aap pe bharosa karti hu yeah today i got on a back and forth because this pr person wouldn't tell me how they got my number <laughs> and i was like i feel like that's a reasonable yeah. question and she was like no um if you just go back in our history we've messaged before i was like i have never spoken to you before just tell me where you got my number girl Yeah. yeah it wasn't me yeah, yeah. so they did so mad <laughs> So exactly like you ask for these questions and it's your right to know right and they make you feel so yeah. bad about it that you're asking for something wrong so i asked for the script pehle to they weren't even giving the script anyway finally i got it oh my god i cannot tell you the kind of comedy that was going on in that script i was like who has written it and mm. why would somebody do this okay i'll tell you one example the one scene was that i am um I'm the niece in the house, and I'm like the butt of the joke, right? Firstly, I had the problem with that. I was like, funny women don't have to be always laughed at. Yeah. Firstly, that's a big problem that we have. Hundred percent. We think that oh, अरे इसका मजाक उड़ा लो ये funny है. Oh, moti, patli, and oh, yeah. and you are a funny character. No, yeah. being made fun of doesn't make me funny. And I was like, she's not cracking any jokes. She is getting jokes being made. She's the butt her, of know? the yeah. jokes. She's the butt of the yeah. joke. So I was like, firstly, that. So the scene was that um. she goes to her cousin that can you do makeup on me and as usual they make her into a Clown. black witch or whatever oh, just wow. put black makeup everywhere just you in a brown face yeah, her. Yeah. yeah all of that and she doesn't look in the mirror and she's going around the house and everybody's laughing at her making fun of her and then finally she looks at her, herself in the mirror she like ah, oh my god this this is comedy this yeah. is comedy i was like as opposed to please. Back in the day, fifty fifty, hmm, smart comedy. Yeah. yeah, they actually had proper writers even, uh, writing. Loose talk. Even loose I talk. I used to love it. Yeah, you know, so like if you look so at much. the most modern what one, I can went think wrong? of are what the happened? Aigi Barat series, which was like Annie Kiagi yeah, Barat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even mm-hmm. those ones had some pretty solid jokes. Good they had writing. Acting. They had writing. Yes, I'm absolutely. with you, man. A lot of times, like I, there was some, there was a very popular. <laughs> me gonna have people hating us, <laughs> but there was a very popular. Ramzan series in which a dadi is played by maybe like a 29 30 year old but she's plus size so obviously okay. she can't play a young woman are we crazy oh, and the jokes i was like and my mom watches dramas i'm like keep it real i hate watching them i'm sitting next to her like change it and i'm like yeah. completely locked in <laughs> I'll get hooked. Hooked. Yeah, i get hooked. Hooked. i i love hating on it yeah, yeah. but that's what makes but me then, get like, hooked but like the next episode yeah. starts and i'm like standing in the doorway and i'm like can you just forward to the part we haven't seen yet but <laughs> it was you're right it's like a nightmare there's no actual jokes and what people don't get is sorry i'm about to get a little bit serious mm. But that in itself is misogyny, right? It Because is, the joke absolutely. is the woman. Yeah, yes. the joke is always yeah. the yeah. woman living any sort of happiness. I agree. Yeah, to you know, be wife jokes. Yeah, always. And I'm like, what's up with this man? Yeah, like it frustrates me so much, and I get so mad and angry. Like you guys, you know, you guys hate watch it. I can't even hate watch it. Yeah, like I'm like boiling. I'm like turning red, and I'm like just, just. I can't even take it. So uh, yeah, it's so sad. Like that's all they think of women. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. oh, look at my wife. Ah, oh, you know, like like what? What is this? In in a sense, like a lot of people are like, oh, you know, because now this comes up a lot where people are like, you stole my joke, you stole my joke, mm. you did this, you do, do mm. you did that. So, but like, I mean, everyone's having experiences exactly. constantly, and they're drawing from that. This exactly. kind of so you happens. could that's overlap what, yeah. experiences yes, could that's overlap. That's what I realized a couple of years back too, because a lot of comedians, uh, especially online, a lot of content had started becoming similar, and even between India and Pakistan. Okay, I'll tell you the funniest thing ever. I kid you not. Okay. I made a video about Karachi and Lahore. Mm-hmm. It was 14th August, and um, a brand had approached me, and they were like, "We want you to do something for 14th August, and do something with Karachi and uh, Lahore." And I was like, "Okay, you know what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make them into a character. So Lahore, they will be two sisters. That's brilliant. So one will be Lahore, and they were like, 'Oh, तो वो Lahore में रहती हैं.' I'm like, 'No, it's not a girl living in Lahore. The Lahore is a person.' Yeah. पहले तो उनको समझ ही नहीं आ रहा था. And that project was dropped also. <laughs> Let me just tell you, the brand was like, 'We don't like it.' it. I, and I got like. 
we're Why confused and it? now we're mad at- oh you still did it then? yeah okay, i did nice. i was like get lost i cut their part out i was like i believe in my content so Lovely. i was like okay they'll be Good two job. sisters But they were like acha ek lahore mein rehti hai ek karachi mein rehti hai like, no lahore is a person and karachi is a person and the mother is pakistan and it was like 14th august i was like mom's birthday is coming up you know and they were like hai ammi ke saal gira kyu it's 14th august and i was like you leave it just let me do amazing. it amazing um yeah so i was like you know this, this in stuff. itself is like the behind the yeah. scenes of yeah. putting this together and all are beaming we're like yeah. oh, yeah. i know and i felt <laughs> so like good about it i was like I'm so smart looking yeah. and and the brand not understanding it made me like so angry I'm like you know uh so I was like so they'll be discussing that mom's birthday is coming up and what should we do and they'll be like dissing each other or whatever because Karachi has said Lahore has said you do this you do that you know um so I and then the brand backed out whatever I cut their part out I still released it it did really well a uh, literally a week later an Indian content creator she uh, uploaded a video between Bombay and Delhi same thing same thing bombay as a sister and delhi as a sister wow bhai to bana you know <laughs> yeah and i don't think she copied me either yeah. because and you know what the sad part was since she's a bigger creator and she's from india people were bashing me for copying her and yeah. i was like excuse me look this, at the posting date this happened to me too yes and i was like can you at least look <laughs> at the date someone accused you of copying yeah. her yeah. and thankfully i was a week earlier yeah. Yeah. Uh, and i was like hello the date is there you yeah. can I mean, and they're like oh i'm sorry and then and then i oh, i'm out. sorry yeah. i still hate you though yeah exactly so i reached out to the creator myself and i was like you know let's just sort it out when and i was like i don't think you copied me or i copied you but like she's like yeah yeah it, i totally get it and i was like you know why because we're having such similar experiences you even yeah. if india and pakistan can have such similar experiences so think about pakistanis themselves yeah. and then yeah. make it pakistani women of course it's going to overlap yeah that's you why know? we laugh so much when we're together because yeah. but i'll tell you so i was approached by a brand I did a few videos with them and this is actually what like I had viral videos for the first time and I was like oh my god the high from this yeah. <laughs> um and I shot like a funny styling video now i saw the caption got edited to inspired by Kusha Kapila who is someone a indian creator very funny wait wait who wait how did the caption? caption the brand changed my caption on theirs cuz they posted it oh. oh oh and inspired by Kusha Kapila Now everyone will tell me, twice a day I'm told you look like Usha Kapla. Mm. Compliment. She is yeah. beautiful. Well, she geez. is funny. Yeah. I understand we have a similar take but honestly before this moment I did not know who she was. Now I'm sitting here and thinking excuse me and I go and they were like no it's because of the comments. I go and I look through oh the comments God. and it was all like wow looks like Usha Kapla. All they were saying is I look like her because this brand is big. Like Indian people would follow this brand as well. I got so angry and I was like you are you are taking credit of my own original work that I shot in my house in Pindi yeah. because my face looks similar to someone else and there was such a panic in their office that like oh, people are going to say that she's still because they'd experienced it before now again there was another they have a beautiful content creator over there too who does funny styling videos so I did one too with a voiceover and then her followers came Wow, way to copy, way to copy. Oh and I was like, God. you don't own voiceovers and you don't own jokes about mother-in-laws. And believe it or not, we were one country 76 yeah, years ago or yeah. whatever. Like imagine that we have cultural crossing yeah, happening. Exactly. Do you yeah. mail on answer commentators any commenters I do. anymore? I yeah. Do. Yeah, yeah, I still do. I um, do and yeah, yeah, my take is very different. I I try to be logical with them. Uh, I think we discussed this earlier as well and I was like Saba's take is totally different. She's like, "Main to upar se aati hu, you know." Saba like, loves yeah, it. She I loves know. to troll and the and trollers. And that's so yeah. good. And I'm like logical. I'm like, "Why are you giving me hate? <laughs> yeah. What's the problem with this video? Why do you have a problem with it? Let me explain you." So I take that route. Yeah, you but know? sometimes I've seen you shame them into yeah, apology. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. I, yeah, into like a whole reel and stuff like where, yeah, I do that too. Uh, but most, I think 90% of the time, I'm like, let me try to explain to you why this video should does, not offend you. Is it you working know? though? Does it work? Like, do it people does. actually? Okay, so what I realize is that are you educating the yeah. youth? <laughs> so basically, yeah, that is my, you know, that's yeah. my thought process. I'm like, okay, let me at least educate them and let them know why hating people is wrong. Like, yeah. you know, out of no reason. So some people do apologize, and some people I feel like they just hate for no reason. Oh yeah, because you're confident. That's it. Reaction out of it. They're like, ha ha, yeah. but we love you. Like that. Somebody that's once told me, "Oh, you, but you are so pretty. We love you." Ah, we were joking. Somebody once told me, "What's the problem? I just told you to lose weight. Like, what's the problem? I care about you." And I was like, "That's a weird." Like, Why are you offended? I was like, first of all, for 
first of all, dad, get off your <laughs> face, stop, and come at me like a real person. Twitter, I would do a lot of like, well, no, no, and then sometimes I'd win, but a lot of times you're right. They just love that they're getting yeah. attention from this yeah. angry woman. But that's why now it's like part of my comedy. I really have fun, especially these TikTok <laughs> men. They're very easy to rile up. They'll, they'll hear you talking in English and they'll start bashing yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You know how often they get like, told bargain. fake accent, fake <laughs> accent. Someone on TikTok was like, you were born in Gudramala. Stop <laughs> lying. And I was like, first of all, close. <laughs> no, and I was like, that's not true. And I even once put up a video. I do this like uh, this bit on my stories where I'm in a relationship with Shrek because they oh, have like I've multiple. Yeah. yeah. And so like to the point that people will send me pictures of them with Shrek and be like, dude, he's cheating on you. He's with me. Like, <laughs> it's a fun bit I have now. Yeah. I even posted a video with him where I was like, honey, you don't defend me. They keep saying I have a fake accent because this girl was like, it's disgusting. You oh, sound God. disgusting. I can't stand when you I talk. Know. I don't understand a word you're saying. I'm like, I'm pretty sure you do, though. Or then don't watch. Yeah, move on. Yeah, John, you, you, can't you have a choice. Yeah. Okay, if you move on. Why do you have to just <laughs> spew this head out? No and, one's know, like, forcing you to watch yeah. this. You have a scroll button. Yeah. You know, block me. Yeah. Somebody yeah. said to me, "You block me." I was like, "I don't care enough <laughs> to block you, my guy." Wait, I have a question for you. You also do a podcast with two other comedians. Yes. yes. Um, Ali. And, and Agbar Chaudhary. And Agbar Chaudhary. Yeah. Uh, three very funny people in one place. Do you ever have this conversation with male comedians about how it's different for you? Uh, we've discussed it off camera, and but not on camera. But yeah, off, and they completely agreed. They were like, yeah, we recognize our privilege. We know mm -hmm. we have it easier. We know we're not going to be trolled as badly as women are. Like when we come and we wear a dupatta or we talk in a certain accent or we do anything, we have it easier. But I do feel like hatred has increased way more on internet now in the yeah, last yeah, couple yeah. of years. For sure. There's way more hate. Let's say uh, Akbar was telling me recently he put up a um, video and he got a lot of hate on it. Um, so I think they, they do get hate also. But of course, they I also think agree also that we get it way more. for that. Right? Yeah. Like, people don't like, like, they're not loving confident men either. Again, I think it really defies our cultural understanding of like, conform, mm. conform, conform. Mm. Um, like, when younger girls, I, I think one cool thing about being fe a female public ish figures, mm. it was when young girls talk to us and stuff. And like, a lot of what I tell them is, I'm like, dude, you should go for everything you want to do, but just understand the fact that you're confident enough to have this conversation. You yeah. cannot avoid hate. And yeah. you have to understand, like, do you? care if what you some small embrace on the internet it, is saying. if yeah, you dude, actually yeah. just like embrace it and you know it's coming just power through the only you'll be time able to it, do it like yeah, yeah. Be, i feel like everybody has you know uh, different ways of dealing with it and you need to find what works for you you know yeah. like we discussed what works for her what works for me some for some people they actually just ignore and yeah. some people <laughs> block i i've me. seen people Every comment, they'll go and they'll block every comment. Yeah, the person I can't. I, I, I'm, I'm the kind of person I that do I don't that. even have time for that. I, I I'm do like, you know block. what? Keep it coming. Yeah. I, I'm not even looking at it anymore. See, I'm like, you know what? Let more engagement go. for my video. <laughs> yeah, I, sure. I, I keep laughing you know? every time we get, because yeah. I've never, I, private account, never had the issue of, of all of this. But like, even because, like, I'm looking after a channel, which is the public thing, mm. we get a lot of hate on that. Yeah. And every time we do, initially, it used to bother me because mm -hmm. I treated like my own baby. So it used to bother me. I'd be like, why are you hating on something that took so much time and effort to put together? Exactly. Yeah. You know, get like, out of here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, and you don't know. You yeah. don't know what's happening behind huh. the scenes. Yeah. You don't know how much time, like, blood, sweat, and tears went into this. I community really helps right like you are like sometimes i feel like i don't even have to defend myself in the uh, local comedy scene i mean i've i've seen a really small part of it because we did smile till seri with mm, you guys yeah and uh there was an incident where one of the female comedians she did a solo like stand-up act and she got heckled in, oh. in from the audience mm. and like she got heckled throughout her set even though we tried to like kind of stop it and stop it from happening she, once she was done, she powered through that set mm. props to her yeah. she did an amazing job powered through that set walked off the next four comedians that walked up to that stage because it was all, back to back yeah. each one ripped that guy apart yeah, good and good. we yeah, were like we don't good. have to do anything because these guys did it all and it wasn't just them the audience also joined in and it was like a community building like That's everyone kind of just attacked that one eventually that person got up and left but good yeah they, they yeah, that. yeah yeah, yeah. I great I it's that. one yeah. of my favorite things to tell people about about how everyone just kind of came together 
like she had to say nothing yeah everyone else did it for her yeah. so it's like you th- and what i love is that each and like the, you guys as a com- like as a community you guys are really strong mm. you're really tight yeah. everyone's friends with everyone you guys all hang out together exactly. and uh, you cross promote you also i'm like yeah, I, i will soon i will soon yeah. i have a lot of comedian friends <laughs> yeah, 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 going to yeah. meet one after which this. i think is Lots really cool you guys jacks. keep propping yeah. each other yes, up how often help. do you guys work together also i think quite a bit like so for example uh there is shahzad he also had a podcast he called me a couple of times but i couldn't attend i couldn't go on his podcast but you know like he always approach me or like we also hang out separately then there's ali and akbar we're doing a podcast now i worked a lot with ali uh previously like we've uh, come in each other's videos quite often mm-hmm. i worked with muru as well mm-hmm. you know so i feel like uh with faiza i do yeah. comedy with her yeah, yeah, yeah. we do videos also and we do cartoons also and we've been on so many like different projects together so i think yeah it's very um natural also for us to keep you know like working together to each other and working yeah. together and then we do approach each other when we want you know to collaborate we come up with an idea me laughing because like, we just booked each other for our exactly work. yeah i also so think it does um, happen in the last few years for sure i have seen more of like almost a demand where like any comedy show you go to i feel like male comedians who like because they're overwhelmingly the ones that are up there which like I wish we could have talked about why I think that is mm. but they'll literally be like oh you're a comedian like please do it next time and they want more women yeah, in this space desperately yes, yes. because now I think comedians are getting paid more to do brand corporate yeah, projects absolutely. and one of the issues they're having is they're not finding a ton yeah. of women to do it exactly uh-huh. um so How do yeah. we fix it? No, I'm like, so how do we fix uh, wage inequality? And uh, <laughs> you and I need to start doing more stand-up, yeah, basically. Yeah. We'll keep Done. pushing each other. And yeah, I'll, pro- yeah. I'll prop you guys up. Yeah. And I will be your manager. <laughs> and Done. I will quote uh, like all these random numbers to people and get you the money. So wait, let's yeah. do it. Let's also, also, yeah, because we've been doing a lot of improv actually with my khawatoons as well. Yeah, like, and doing corporate events yes, and traveling. Yeah, yeah. And you're right, like um, brands are willing to spend more money on comedy. Uh, more and more like, you know, events, corporations, brands have been calling us yeah. to the different events, you know, do a corporate show for their audience. So we've been doing quite a few, like for example, Abhi on Women's Day, we had five back to back shows and no we way. still had That's to say awesome. no to two so we had seven offers wow. can you imagine like masha masha touch That's amazing. so uh, out of seven we could manage five of course we human at the end but like yeah we could we managed five and they all were corporate so yeah the demand is definitely there even last week i know all of these male comedians were touring yeah. um uh, tabish and uh, ali akbar all Hassan of these people and, hasan yeah. Osman Mazhar all of these guys mm-hmm. were touring as well look so, y'all got shout outs you better share yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah 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 so but I, I do agree we need more women in stand up I feel like with women there's always waves Yeah. They come and go, come yeah. and yeah, go. Because we had like a bunch, and then Ortnak took a big break because of pandemic and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it, I think it is also like you have this high that you like kind of. Now I come from a place of privilege. Like I talk no matter what. I don't care what I'm going to say. But I think for a lot of people, you worked up to that moment, mm. and then when there's a lull, it's kind of hard to get back into it. I agree. And um, it is very like the heckling situation. Now yeah. I haven't. I've heckled my audience. Like, but I, but I had a dead audience once they. hated me and I literally went oh my god this is going so bad and after three minutes of silence they cracked up because I was like I gotta turn this around on them but wait so we are gonna close out the show but I wanted to ask you what makes you laugh without fail every single time hmm I think what always makes me laugh is like when I go like oh my god I can't believe he or she did that Yeah. I think when that thought comes to mind, oh my god, I can't believe he actually said that or she actually said that or did that, you know, like yeah. the thing that you feel like all of us are thinking or feeling, but that one person goes out and says it or does it, uh-huh. you're like, yes, she's the woman she, or he's the man, like yeah. that. We all were feeling it, we all were thinking it, but that one man or woman, they took the onus of, and they said it. Yeah. And I feel like right. that's what I think gives... Um, them the courage and I feel that's what I give them respect for and I, that also makes me laugh the most I think in that moment also feels, yeah. it makes you feel good because you're like I'm not the only one yeah yeah exactly like, it, them and the entire audience laughing with me we all get it we're all exactly. on the inside we're like on the joke so yeah. what always makes me laugh is people falling so <laughs> 
With a, you know, and some, on that you note. know when someone trips and they try to cover it <laughs> yeah. up? If they just panned the camera slightly this way, you'd see me being like, I saw that. I saw no that. need to cover it up. I saw it all, you know? <laughs> um, so thank you so much for thank, coming thank today. You. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, please don't sue us. I am. <laughs> Honestly, that felt like it was Ilham's fault. So if you're going to name anyone in that suit, of course, it, it's all Ilham's fault. It's all Ilham's Thanks, fault. guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. and joining us. And Thank this you. is not the only time. We're going to do it again. Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Always, always up for it. Awesome. Yay. Thank all you. Right. Thank yeah. you for having me. And bye to the audience. <laughs> if you guys have a... Oh, yeah, we talk. forgot that they were all there yeah, for a while. <laughs> you know, there are people watching us, talking. you know? I, like, I really hope so. You have so. to acknowledge them. Thank you for watching, everybody. Yeah. I don't know which camera I'm visible at, but <laughs> thank you and bye-bye. All right, take bye. care. <laughs> That's the bit. <laughs> Sabar, tell me something. Yeah. Weren't you trying to be a comedian at some point? Or you were, you did you did something, First right, in all, comedy? I'm fully offended at trying. We can edit that bit out. Let me try again. See, even she's laughing at you. For I that. thought it was meant to be funny, right? Like you yeah. were trying to, yeah. uh, you know, burn that, I told you, we, 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 we go <laughs> through this. I know, you guys keep doing it to each other. Don't look at me. <laughs> what do you mean? Ilham is the sweetest person to me. He's like, in shock. Like, it doesn't happen. I think this is a something that we should be talking about, right? Yeah. The comedy scene, women in comedy, Can I funny women. Tell you a story about being a woman in comedy. Please, just one thing. Please. So my first round with Orth Nog doing stand-up comedy, we actually would rotate who the host was of the shows, but like naturally, I ended up being the host quite a bit. I had a pretty awesome first run, like sold-out shows, standing ovation, whatever. And at the time, I was kind of talking to this man, you know. <laughs> and I uh, sent him my comedy set and I was like, oh yeah, you know, check it out or whatever. I ended up getting 20 voice notes from this dude, okay? And I was like, oh, oh God. And then I listened and he sent me 20 voice notes of like, man, that was really good. At this point, this is what you did. And at this point, this is what you were trying to do. And I'm listening and he's breaking down. comedy. Yeah, the technical aspects of my performance to me. Pointing out things that, you know, Maybe I should have thought of it that I didn't. By like the fifth voice note, I am livid. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? This is like rever some sort of psychologically manipulative mansplaining where you're not even insulting me, but you're you're trying to tell me why you found me funny in a way that you can contextualize, you know? So how did it work out? So how did it work out? <laughs> what happened is, is um, I got mad. <laughs> Um, and they were like, whoa, you can't take a compliment. And I was like, no, I cannot take an instruction manual, sir. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then a few years later, he married someone else. <laughs> so there you go. And I've thought about it a lot since then that like, maybe that was just flirting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm.